Hello friends, myself K. Rana from Surat. Today I'll talk a little bit about sorting and to be very precise, bubble sorting. Why do we require sorting? There are many applications such as searching. In binary searching, we require sorting first of all. If you are asked to find closest pair of numbers that have the smallest difference between them, how do you do it? Sorting is one of the solutions. To find duplicate elements from given set of n number of elements, you require to sort those elements and then it will be easy to find the duplicate elements. Frequency distribution, that is which element occurs the largest number of times in the given set of n number of elements. Again, here you sort the element list and you can find out frequency of every element and you could get the answer. Similarly, if you want to find ith largest element, again sorting is the better option. So there are so many applications of sorting. Various sorting techniques are in existence. Few of them are bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort and quick sort. There are many more but uh, we will focus mainly on bubble sort method with an example and programming code snippet. Here is the C programming code for bubble sort method. Integer array of 100 elements, there are n number of elements. Right? Uh, and this, this, this part is to take all the elements from the user. Now once all the elements are taken into array element, you require two nested for loops. The first for loop that is controlled by variable i will run for n minus one number of times. That is for n number of elements you require to sort. Now inner loop that is j will run for n minus i minus one number of times. Every time the basic concept of bubble sort is to Compare two adjacent numbers. Every such adjacent numbers are compared, and if the second number is found smaller than the first number, for example, in this case, this, if the second number is found smaller than the first number, then we do swapping. Swapping of those two numbers by this code. And such kind of task is repeated for the entire list. Once the iteration is over, we will see the largest element is located towards the end of the list. And then the new iteration will begin, next value of i will be taken, again this list will be executed, again all the elements are compared, again the same principle is applied, that the second number is found smaller than the first number, then there will be exchange, otherwise no exchange. This is a simple program. Now let us see the code of example of bubble sort method. We are given n number of elements here you can see. n is equal to 8. 6 and 5 are two adjacent numbers which are compared. Because the second number is smaller, they are exchanged. 6 and 3 are compared. Second number is smaller, again they are exchanged. So every j and j plus 1 number are compared. And if it is found that second number is smaller than the first number, then the exchange will take place. The process continues till the very last number, that is 2 and 4 will be the last pair of which is compared. Now it is 8 and 4. So finally, at the end of first iteration, when i equals to 0, first iteration, we will see that the largest number is split. Here it is 8. Next iteration of i again starts. For every j value and j plus n value, that is current number and the next number, the numbers are compared. If the second number, that is j plus 1, is found smaller, then there will be exchange of those two numbers. Here j plus 1 is 2, which is smaller than 7, so they are exchanged. 7 and 4, again compared, 4 is found smaller than 7, so again there is an exchange. At the end of second equation, we will see that second largest number is also found and placed appropriately. The third equation now starts, the outer follow of i. 
that third iteration starts. Again in third iteration, the same process continues with the same principle of comparison and exchange. By the end of third iteration, we will see the third largest number located at appropriate position. Now we don't have to sort, we don't have to run loop for those numbers which are already sorted and that is the reason why our loop is control here n minus i minus 1 times n minus i minus 1 times means those numbers which are already sorted now these are the already sorted numbers which we do, not, we do not require to again take into consideration for con comparison at the end of fourth iteration we could find four numbers sorted from bottom at the end of five iteration we can see now four five six seven in that data are sorted and the process continues till till this many number of times i less than n minus one so you will see that all the numbers are sorted by end of your for loop after for loop so at the end of such kind of equation we will see here we will see that all the numbers are sorted